Hey guys, what's up? It's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So it's been a while since I have done like a grocery haul, meal prep, how I meal prep video. And I don't actually think I've done one since you guys knew I was pregnant. I think I've done one since I was pregnant, but this is also going to be a little like food health restart situation. Um, if you haven't seen like any of my pregnancy updates or anything like that, you would know you, well, if you've seen it, then you would know, but if you haven't seen it, then you wouldn't know. But basically my first trimester, uh, was not the worst. It wasn't terrible in terms of like vomiting and nausea, but I was nauseous a lot and I had very, I didn't have... I didn't have any like super severe like food aversions, but I just had very minimal things that I wanted to eat. And they weren't always the healthiest. Since being pregnant, my healthy eating has decreased a slight bit. Um, and also since I started working day shift, I feel like I have not been eating as well. So it's kind of do gonna do a little restart, plan out my meals for the rest of the week and take a trip to the grocery store as well. So today is Tuesday, I have the day off today. I actually work the next two days, 12 hour shift. So I will have to plan out some meals for those two days, but basically we are gonna go make out our meal plan, make out a grocery list, go to the grocery store, and then I will give you guys a grocery haul. So if you don't know, I do 99% of my grocery shopping at Aldi's. Uh, I have been doing it since I was in nursing school and it's just 10 times cheaper. And if you've never been to an Aldi and you have one near you, I highly suggest you go. Sometimes they don't have things that I need. Um, and in that case, I just go to a different grocery store. But for the most part, they always have what I need and they are relatively inexpensive. So with that being said, let's plan out, let's go sit at the dining room table, I think and plan out meals specifically dinners is what i really need to like actually plan out and then get an idea of what i'm going to want to eat for breakfast and lunch for the next week all right guys so oh i need to get out, grab my glasses okay there we go okay so basically what i'm going to do is i have a notebook um, that I will write down what my game plan is for meals for the week. The biggest thing I need to plan out, like I said, is dinners, mainly because when I work a 12 hour shift, I like to have something semi easy for Alex to make when he gets home from work because he usually gets home at 6.30. So like the last thing either of us really wants to do is cook dinner. So it's usually not the healthiest thing. Um, that we had those nights, but do what we can with the time we have and the energy we have. So I think the next day I'll go grocery shopping will be next Tuesday, so I need to fill out, figure out a whole week's worth of dinners. So usually I have like a variety of various dinners in my head that we can use. So let's start planning out what we have, I guess. So I'm actually gonna try and plan out like all my meals, maybe not like specifically, but an idea so I know what I need to buy. So for Tuesday, which is today, I already had lunch, so we just need a dinner. For Wednesday, I need breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and I work at 12. So I have this kind of scheduled out. So I know for sure between Wednesday and Thursday, we're gonna have pizza and then stir fry for dinner because those are easy things that we have and we actually already have both of them here. So we'll just say Wednesday we'll have pizza and Thursday we'll have stir fry. And then I know for lunch tomorrow and Thursday for work, I'm gonna just have a salad and then some snacks and stuff with it. Okay, so 
Wednesday and Thursday, a salad. Um, for breakfast both those days, obviously I work, so I have to get up early and eat something. Um, probably I've been finally eating breakfast, <laughs> um, like strawberries with yogurt and granola again, so that's what we'll plan to have with some like toast those days. And then Friday morning for breakfast, Alex is actually home, so we usually make like pancakes or something, pancakes and eggs. So I'll have that. Lunch will be, I don't even know at this point, probably a sandwich and some vegetables. I have not figured out dinners yet. So I think Saturday for lunch, Alex and I are gonna be walking around downtown. So we probably will do like something out. And then there's usually one day or night, a weekend that we either have dinner at my parents' house or Alex's parents' house. So I'll mark that down as well for a dinner. And then I need to figure out what the heck we want for the other dinner. So I'm gonna sit here and kind of plug some stuff in and figure it out and I'll update you guys when it's all done. All right guys, so here is kind of the beginning plan for meals. So tonight we're gonna just have some tacos. Uh, Wednesday, I already went over. Thursday, I already went over. I actually changed Friday's breakfast because I forgot we have an OB appointment at 8.30, so we'll just probably have some bagels or something quick. And then lunch will be quick because I'll be getting home and Alex will have to go to work. And for dinner, I'm gonna make spaghetti carbonara. I made it um, once in the fall and it was really good and I forgot about the recipe. Um, and then Saturday morning is when I decided to make some pancakes and eggs. Um, like I said, for lunch, we're gonna be like bumming around, so we'll eat out somewhere. And then we'll have some leftovers from throughout the week that we can eat on Saturday. And then Sunday morning, cinnamon rolls, lunch, again, leftovers. Or sometimes we make like chicken tenders, something simple. And then potentially lunch at parents. And then for Monday, I'll have like a, a waffle with peanut butter and a parfait, a quesadilla for lunch. And then I'm just gonna have, make some chicken and some veggies and something for dinner. And then next week, Tuesday, parfait and eggs for breakfast and a sandwich or something for dinner. So there is my meal plan. So now what I'll do is I'll take this um, and print off my grocery list and make sure that everything that I want here is on the grocery list and then go through our cabinets and figure out and make sure we have everything that we need. All right guys, so I have shared this before with you guys, I'll have a link below, but I have a little like pre-made grocery list that I just print off every week and it has all of our staples on there that we usually have. And then what I do is I cross off what we don't need, add things if it's not something we get super often. Um, and this is actually gonna be like my third grocery trip, I think, to our new Aldi that we go to now because obviously we moved and I don't go to the same one anymore. So I'm still adjusting it to make it in the correct order um, because it's not quite in the correct order yet. But anyway, let me just quick make sure everything that's on here is on here and then we'll go through the cabinets and our pantry and stuff and make sure that we are not missing anything else. guys grocery list is made out I've added some things some of these things are things that I need to add to the list like permanently that we get all the time now that I just forget to do but so yeah let's head out to the grocery store um, and then we'll get home and I will show you everything that we got all right friends I just got done at Aldi um, they didn't have strawberries they've been like not having strawberries lately which is annoying because it's definitely in season anyway i'm going to stop at the other grocery store on the way home just to pick up some strawberries because i've been really wanting them so it's just on my way so make a pit stop there and then head home all right hi guys we are home for the grocery store i'm just gonna quick walk you through everything that we got and then put everything away the strawberries at the local grocery store were eight dollars so I, I instead bought a thing of frozen strawberries 
for a lot less. But I guess it makes sense why Aldi didn't have any then if the, I don't know. It's been a while since I bought regular priced strawberries, but $8 is way too much. And then I also bought a thing of frozen waffles there because they didn't have any of all these. So that was from the other grocery store. All right, so bought some pop tarts, mainly for Alex. Had some like hot fudge ones or something like that. Mm, we'll try them out. Then I got a thing of soap, hand soap, not super important. And I got some Pringles for Alex. He didn't actually ask for them this week, but he has been asking for them and they haven't had them. So now they have them and so I bought them. Um, blueberry muffins, sometimes in the morning if I wake up late or don't have time to make something, I make those or eat one of those and Alex likes them too. We got some tiny potatoes for dinners this week. I got four of these. They're the two good yogurt. The yogurt that I usually have with my parfaits, they didn't have, so I got some of these instead. And then I got some just plain yogurts for Alex. Got some ground turkey for making tacos tonight. Then we got some dill dip for the veggies. This is one of my favorite thing to dip with veggies lately. It's from all these dill dip it's delicious and then alex really likes this like nice we call it the nice salsa um he always gets it at mild which he says is better so that's bag number one bag number two we have some eggs got some grapes got a thing of tortilla chips for alex's salsa got some pancake mix because we are running low um this like stir fry mix and these uh, egg rolls are like one of our favorites, uh, one of our staples. So that is what we'll have for dinner one of these nights this week. Got some frozen corn because I wanted other frozen vegetables, but they didn't have any. And Alex, we like corn. I got one of these little sausage uh, breakfast bowl things. Um, they're pretty good and they keep me pretty full if I make them in the morning before I go to work. So I like to have options in case I change my mind the morning of. <laughs> And last but not least in this bag is just some frozen sausage links. Alex had asked for them. Last bag. First up, we have some uh, granola. The granola that I use in my parfaits. I have had some. I've had some here, but it's definitely stale, so I got some new stuff. I got some more potatoes because I kept thinking that we had some, but we didn't have any, so I just bought a bunch so that I don't have to worry about it in the future. We use them for sides a lot for like dinners. Um, I got this little snack pack. Thing. Um, it has like cheese and stuff. One of my favorite things from all these. Some cinnamon rolls for breakfast this weekend. Some baking soda because we were out. Just some plain old granola bars because I had one at work the other day and I forgot how much I like them and we didn't have any. This is the salad kit that I went with for this week's for tomorrow and Thursday's lunches. Uh, it's just a sweet kale chopped salad with like a poppy seed dressing. It's a really good one. I like all of them but sometimes I like some more than others, so we're gonna have this one this week. We got some more K-Cups for the Keurig. This is the only iced coffee that I have been enjoying recently. I don't actually even know how much caffeine is in it because it doesn't even tell me how much caffeine is in it, so there must not be too much. Um, These bacon bits are for the spaghetti carbonara that I'm making. It costs a real bacon, but I'm lazy. We got some zucchini for dinners some asparagus as well, and then mini cucumbers and carrots for dipping the veggies. And I think the total bill was like 84 something, and then those two things from the other store were like $5, so $89, and quite a, quite a good haul we have here. All right, guys, got everything put away. Um, I don't entirely know what I wanna use this for. So this is kinda how we've had everything organized. So these are like our like daily breakfast items that we just like grab and go. And then we have snacks and candy. And then we have our freezer, which is just our freezer. It's, it's, it is what it is. And then fridge, we have like eggs and fruit up there. We have our yogurt, all of our like dips and items, um, open things, butter. I just have some like grab and go veggies here. And the bottom has beverages, uh, just that because we're having it for dinner, and then leftovers, and then cheese drawer because Wisconsin and extra veggies, and then that's just what that is. And then eventually for our pantry, I'm gonna get baskets and like home edit it, but for now, this is what we have. So 
the top is just our instant pot and a few things that we don't use regularly and then this one we have like extras canned stuff dinner items and then we have all of our baking and some like breakfast and like extra items here and this bottom just has random stuff too tupperware glasses the cats get so excited every time we open this. I think I'm actually gonna end the vlog here so I can get it edited for Friday because I work the next two days. Um, but make sure that you guys give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more videos from me and I will see you guys next time. Bye.